Hello students. Yesterday we learned about an important mathematical concept, Euclid's division law. Today we continue the same and its application. We find uh, HCF using Euclid's division lemma. What is HCF? HCF is highest common factor of any two of two numbers. Now we have to learn about two more important uh, things here. One is lemma. You know what is lemma? Yesterday I told you lemma is a proven statement used for proving another mathematical statement. Okay. Next. Today we use an, a new word called algorithm. Algorithm is new. It is simple to understand. It is a step by step process. Step by step process to find the solution of a problem. To find the solution to a problem. Right. Uh, now we use Euclid's division lemma or rather Euclid's division algorithm to find highest common factor of given numbers. Right? So now we understand this particular algorithm, Euclid's division algorithm, by taking an example. Let us take 24 and 36. Here, A is 24 and B is 36. We are going to find the HCF of 24 and 36. So, HCF of these two numbers is simply denoted as HCF of 24, 36 within brackets we write equal to how much? This is the question. We express 36 in terms of 24 first. So, it is given now. Let us divide 36 by 24. Then 24 one time it can be subtracted from 36. So, 24 by 24 and it is 12. The remainder is not 0 here. Here the remainder is 12, not 0. So, we continue the division like this. With this reminder, we divide the divisor here. So, 12 is divided, 24 is divided by 12. Now, 12 twos are 24 and the remainder is 0. Now, when still the remainder is 0, you go on dividing the divisors by the respective reminders. Now, the remainder is 0. So, we can stop the process here. Step 1, step 2. In step 1, how we express 36 in terms of 24 like this. 36 is equal to 24 into 1 plus 12. Now in step 2, we divide 24 by the respective reminder 12. So 24 is expressed as 12 multiplied by 2 plus 0. When the reminder is 0, the divisor, so the divisor obtained there is the HCF of the given numbers. So, 12 is the HCF of 36 and 24. This is step 1 and this is step 2. Right? Therefore, we write HCF of 36 and 24 is equal to 12. This is the process uh, and called Euclid's division algorithm. So, the step by step process to find the HCF of numbers 24 and 36. Right? So, we stop the first example here. We can carry out a number of examples like this. Right? Let us take another example. Now, that is example 2, HCF of 91 and 78. And we know 78 is smaller than 91. So, we can divide 91 by 78 easily. Let us divide so and find out the division fact. 91 divided by 78. You know, only one time you can subtract 78 from 91. So, one time. And you subtract like this, you are getting 
थर्टीन ही है सो थर्टीन इज द रिमाइंडर इज द रिमाइंडर जीरो नो सो वी कैन कंटिन्यू द डिविजन डिवाइड दिस डिवाइजर बाय द रिमाइंडर थर्टीन ही है सो थर्टीन इज डिवाइडिंग सेवेंटी एट नाउ सेवेंटी एट एंड थर्टीन टेबल थर्टीन सिक्स दर सेवेंटी एट थर्टीन सिक्स दर सेवेंटी एट एंड नर रिमाइंडर इज जीरो रिमाइंडर इज जीरो Now let us write the division facts. When the remainder is zero, write all the division facts. Division facts. Step number one: ninety-one is equal to seventy-eight into one plus thirty. Now this seventy-eight by thirty. Seventy-second division fact. Our step number two: seventy-eight is equal to thirteen six thirteen into six plus zero. When the remainder is zero. The divisor so obtained here is the HCF of the given numbers. So HCF of ninety-one and seventy-eight is equal to thirty. This is example two. Right now, one more we'll try. One more example three. Let us try example three. Example three. Now let us take the HCF of one thirty five and two hundred twenty five, which is the smaller number one thirty five. So we divide two twenty five by one thirty five. So two twenty five is being divided by one thirty five now. Once again, only one time here also once one thirty five zero twenty two so ninety. Now. Ninety is not equal to zero, so divide one thirty five by ninety. So ninety, the second step follows like this: one thirty five again one time, and ninety is subtracted, being subtracted from one thirty five, it is forty five. Again, the remainder is not zero, so with this remainder, let us divide the divisor here again. So forty five, ninety, and then two times now forty five two is our ninety. We all know this. Now there are three steps here. Step one, one the two hundred twenty five in terms of one thirty five is written like this, right into one plus ninety. Now this one thirty five in step two is written as one thirty five equal to ninety multiplied by one plus forty five. In step three, ninety is written in terms of forty five as Forty-five into two plus zero. As the remainder is zero, the divisor so obtained here in this step is the HCF of these numbers. So HCF of ninety-one and seventy-eight. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It is one thirty-five and two twenty-five is equal to forty-five. Right. So we start the second uh, topic here, HCF, and there are many examples in the textbook. You may also take some more examples to find HCF. We continue the lesson with this and the, in, in the next day, right? So your task is to find HCF of given numbers from the textbook exercises, right? Thank you.